Hello, how is it going? It is Faco coming at you again. Today, I want to play a couple games of Nightfall Aggro as of patch 1.11. Made a few changes to the deck. Going to also include uh, Bastion in the list. Uh, Bastion just seems like such a powerful card that if you are in Targon, you're probably going to include it. And that also includes uh, Nightfall Aggro. Also going to be using Atrocity at the moment. I think over the top is a realistic goal at the moment. I uh, also want to add that over the next couple of weeks, I have a goal of mine for 14 days to try and post at least a daily video of some unique gameplay with different decks when acceptable. So if you want to see any certain decks within the near future, feel free to jump down in the comments and let me know what you want to see. I'm just experimenting with new and old archetypes and trying to see what I can get done in Runeterra right now. But without further ado, we'll jump across, have a couple of games here against MFGP, slightly nerfed, but still kind of powerful. Good to see how Nightfall uh, performs against that deck. Anyway, deck code, deck link is going to be in the description. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you tomorrow. Looks like everyone's in the same boat with LP. It's a pretty tough time to climb. So here we are. I'm going to experiment with Nocturne with all the Bastions. Maybe I'll keep one. We're here to experiment with it, all right? Fading Memories. Is a Shade Stalker turn two? Yeah, all right, I'll keep it. I sacrifice some damage turn one, depending on what play my opponent makes. Well, alternatively, I did find Solari, so that's kind of fantastic. I think we should always grab the follower here and then play Shade Stalker. He missed a turn one. Uh, chances are he might have a turn two play. That turn two play is probably suboptimal. Hmm. High gun's actually pretty good for him there. Okay, we found another fading memories. Optional lines that to like go down the Doom Beast rabbit hole. We'll see exactly what he does here. Kind of tempted to slap Bastion here, honestly. I think you open attack here because your opponent wants to play Twist of Fate and all I've got to do is like Solari Soldier and Doom Beast. Alternatively, I can, uh, you'll see what happens here. He takes a block. I'll accept it for now. We might just be floating mana this turn to try and set up for some Stalking Shadow plays next turn. So we'll go ahead and make that happen. I don't think he wants to spend these resources yet. Nocturne on the field, Nocturne in the hand. Let's see what we find from this. Doom Beast. So I'll probably just allow this to happen, right? Alternatively, I can play Pale Cascade. I think I'll just chill for now. Play the Ephraim one here. All or nothing. I was gonna say that's a bit of a troll. Yeah, all right, so we can pass here. Yeah. Uh, Dustbringer is pretty pog. Let's play that. I do believe we're going to be playing Nocturne this turn. Lunari 
This looks somewhat acceptable. We're now running Atrocity. Uh, no, no real outplay here. Alternatively, I can push. I can make that push for his face. Yeah, sounds, sounds pretty good. I mean, I've got lethal with the uh, multiple amounts of Doom Beast, right? So this is probably just a fantastic line. So he would need to yoink a Doom Beast from my deck to stay alive here. I think that's literally about it. He could be, he might be fishing for it. I'm not greedy. My friends so I'm just going to play a Solari Soldier first of all. Simply for blocking. Okay, now we can go Doom Beast. I can simply go down to this amount, right? Yeah, it's fine. I'm threatening lethal just with the fading memories into Doom Beast, so we're chilling. Now this game's heating up. GG, I have no unspeakable horrors for you to yoink from my deck. Absolutely fantastic. That's true, the nightmare does never end. A little bit of a rematch here. The last one went pretty well for us. We'll see how this one turns out. You would suspect you don't get as lucky this time around. Uh, behold the infinite keeping he's going first i've got a blocker for turn one yeah okay we usually just keep behold and onlooker okay oh should we pass again I think we'll just take the Traveler here. Um, I don't know if the game's gonna go that late that we need to keep Living Legends. I'm gonna burst past here and see what my opponent does. Okay. I think we dragged the keg, right? That is four damage. No, that's four damage, man. Come on, let's try sending a face. See what happens. Got a surprise for him. <laughs> Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. I'm just trying to play around Twist of Fate the best I can. If there's some way I can...
I can't possibly flip Diana this turn, right? Actually, I can. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, Moon Sister. Pale Cascade brings us up to 4 HP. We take that 100%. We navigated this turn pretty well. Now we get to push a lot of damage. Night um, we're gonna get completely blown out by Twisted Fate. But I think pushing that amount of damage is probably just worth it, honestly. Doom Beast, Stalking Shadows. Yeah, that, that is what it is. I think I just want to play the Traveler this turn. It stumps his attack at least, so I'll take that. Um, have we got a few options here? What would we? What would like realistically be a card we're looking for from the Traveler if we take that? We probably don't take the Equinox. It's probably maybe leaning towards the Warrior. So we'll go ahead and take that. I'm going to open up a Stalking Shadows to see if I can find some more Doom Beasts. Alternatively, I can maybe go like Solari Soldier here. And just hold back for a sec. Because so I can play the Solari Soldier plus the Warrior. I think we should just fish for the Doom Beasts, honestly. Now nah, we'll wait, we'll chill. Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. If anything, the best player could have made this turn was to actually open attack with the Traveler, perhaps. Perhaps this line might be a mistake, we'll see. Because then I ha I threatened him to <clears throat> have to consider trading into me. So no scary cards he can play here. If he wants to go down to two, that's fine. This was like a fantastic turn for us. Yeah, he never goes down to two, right? Putting him down to five, it's a pretty relevant number. Our reach is a little bit awkward with five, but we can find fading memories potentially. There we go. And we can also stalking shadows into more doom beasts. So let's see what we find here. I think we'll open up with this. We're fishing for doom beast. Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant guys. And because we found Stalking Shadows, there's less of a chance for him to find it from Black Market Merchant. Alright, we're in for a game now. <laughs> it's a battle. However, like after finding one Doom Beast, I have Doom Beast. I have Doom Beast and a Doom Beast, so that's fine. So the amount of mana we have uh, does allow me to... Oh, Fading Memories. <laughs> the Doom Beast spam. 
I'll play the one that I just picked up from Fading Memories, just in case. But the fact that we found that Doom Beast is fantastic because he already yoinked one from us and we had one in hand. So the chances were very slim on actually finding Doom Beast. I could have even gone for the open attack there, forced him to trade with Twist of Fate. We do know Stalking Shadows will not be finding us anything else. GG, and that's how we tackle Twisted Fate. Kinda pog.